Hey guys, so I'm driving in bumper to bumper LA traffic right now. So I'm like, well, this is gonna be a good time to get a video out that I was really kind of urging to do before I went about my day. I had to go across town, so unfortunately I'm like, you know, stuck in traffic as I said. For my patrons, um, I did the weekly messages this morning. Uh, they're still processing though, so I didn't have time to finish the processing and post it before I left. So it should be posted by tonight. But something I wanted to mention that I think will help my patrons understand the weekly messages, but also I thought this would help the collective. This is something that um, I became aware of in Sedona. And after doing the weekly messages for Patreon, I was like, oh shit, like this is actually really important to discuss and talk about for everybody. So the difference between your avatar and your higher self. Your higher self is your core essence. That is who you are. Your avatar <laughs> is your three-dimensional existing identity, okay? It's the identity that your parents gave you. It's the identity that you've had in the 3D, what people told you you were, your genetics, quote unquote, so to speak. Uh, that is all your avatar existence. That is your narrative. That's the story you've been given. Again, I know I use a lot of air quotes in this video, guys. I'm using a lot of air quotes. Um, that is literally the story you've been given, okay? Your essence of who you are is your higher self. So it's really the, the difference of understanding you, your core you, who you are, versus the story and narrative you've been running your life by or the story or narrative that you've been given, okay? There is a difference there. And I know it's really easy to get caught up, caught up in your narrative of what people have told you you are or who you've actually labeled yourself to be based off of your environment in the 3D or based off of who you've been around in the 3D versus the higher self that keeps trying to talk to you, the higher self, which is you, uh, that wants to connect with you and guide you along this, this crazy journey. Hold on a second. I can't talk and change lanes at the same time. <laughs> um, so I wanted to bring this up because you know, sometimes our narrative, sometimes our story can blind us to who we are. Um, and it can also just keep us really trapped in like matrixy ways of being and thinking. So all I'm saying is that make sure that when you're tapping into higher self that you're not taking with you your narrative or the narrative or story you've been given for this 3D existence. Just stay connected to your higher self, listen to your higher self, and the more you do that, the more you're gonna step into who you actually are, understand who you actually are, separate from your the story you've been given, okay? All right, so that's it, guys. I'm gonna go and continue to be in LA rush hour. Well, it's not even rush hour, it's just, it's just LA traffic. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. It's also Mercury retrograde today it will start it today and mars also into capricorn today but i hope you guys have a really good one and a really good week and i'll see you later namaste